The coast is the most dynamic physical environment and engineers need to think of ways to protect it. There are both hard and soft engineering strategies, but what's the difference? Hard engineering strategies are where artificial, human-made structures are used to protect coastlines against erosion, often by absorbing the energy of waves. Hard engineering strategies, like sea walls, need to be strong and unyielding. Sea walls stand as formidable barriers, shielding coastal communities from the relentless force of waves. Groins are elongated structures jutting out into the water perpendicular to the coast, and they work to trap sediment and mitigate the movement of sand along the shore. This helps to create a wider beach where the energy of the waves can be absorbed. Rock armour consists of piles of large boulders dumped at the base of a cliff. The rocks force waves to break, thereby absorbing their energy and protecting the cliffs. Rock armour is sometimes known as riprap. Gabions are large wire cages filled with rocks that can be built up to support a cliff or provide a buffer against the energy of the waves. Revetments are sloping structures built along the base of cliffs, or in front of sea walls. They help to absorb and dissipate the energy of waves in order to reduce coastal erosion. Breakwaters, strategically placed, can dissipate wave energy, shielding harbours and coastlines from erosion. Soft engineering strategies are a more natural and sustainable approach to coastal management. It focuses on smaller scale techniques that align more with the natural environment. Soft engineering approaches embrace nature's resilience, employ more ecological and sustainable methodologies. Beach nourishment involves replenishing eroded shorelines with sediment, maintaining natural coastal dynamics. Dune regeneration promotes the growth of sand dunes, acting as natural barriers against storm surges. Marsh creation fosters the development of wetlands, enhancing biodiversity and absorbing wave energy. Managed retreat is a deliberate policy of allowing the sea to flood or erode an area of relatively low-value land on the coast. Beach reprofiling is where sediment is moved around the beach usually from the lower part of the beach to the upper part, helping to create a natural slope, restore the beach and reduce the energy of the waves. So there you have it, the difference between hard and soft engineering strategies at the coast. I'll see you on the next What's the Difference. Bye for now.